Okay, hear me out. I spent this week trying to build something that I thought was going to be impossible. An AI agent that does my job for me. I'm talking about an agent that can automate tedious processes in my sound design workflow, such as creating 10 variations of this particular sound without me actually touching anything. So here's the setup. This is Reaper. This is what sound designers use to create and edit sounds for video games. Explosion, footsteps, magic, you know, all that cool stuff. All of it happens in here. And I actually already have a working prototype in Cloud Code. Watch this. I ask it to create variations. Or go crazy? I can even tell it to export these sounds. The creative potential here is limitless. But here's the thing, this is running through cloud code with MCP server. I can use it, but if I actually want to make this into a product that sound designers can download and use, yeah, normal people ain't gonna install cloud code and configure MCP servers. They're gonna need a desktop application that basically wraps all this together. So the question becomes, how hard is it to actually build that? Here's my AI tooling setup for this project. Backend, cloud code. Obviously, it's what I've been using for the MCP server and all the Reaper integration logic. But the front end, that's where I'm doing a bit of experimentation. So I've been trying out Combi, and honestly, it's been kind of perfect for this. It's specifically built for front end, so when I point it at my project, it automatically detects my stat. I'm using Electron and with React, and it just works. But the feature that I've been abusing the most is this. I can literally select an element in my browser, like this sidebar or this button, and feed it directly as the context to come by and be like, I want my component to look like this. There's also this ask mode in Combi that I can ask it to output lo-fi mockups of the UI. Anyway, you know what? Let me just show you how this all comes together. All right, the stack. This is a desktop application, so I'm going with Electron, hate me. And for the backbone, I'm gonna be using Claude Agent SDK. Why the SDK instead of rolling my own agentic loop? Because all that hard stuff, two calling, file read write, code execution, it's all already built in this SDK. I'd rather spend my time on actually building the product rather than figuring out why exactly my agent is hallucinating a function that doesn't exist. As for the front end, I'm using my keep it simple, stupid setup stack. Vite, React, Tailwind, Chassis, and UI components, and does stand for state. Nothing fancy, luxury, or new. Just stuff that works. Now let me show you how I wired all this up together. For the UI, I'm going to do something a little cheeky. I'm cloning the Claude desktop look. Why? Because my target audience is audio people and not developers. If this looks like a hackathon project or a dev tool, no one is going to use this. So I am just gonna give a screenshot of Claude desktop app to come by and tell it to match it. This gets me to a good starting point, but it's got that AI look, you know, the generic component library look. Honestly, the fix is mainly color. Let me just pull Claude's color palette in. Better, but the layout still feels a little off. This is where I find Combi's ask mode useful. I'll have it sketch out a few layouts before I actually proceed. I'm gonna go with this one. And now I'm just going to clean up some details. Making sure that light mode doesn't look broken, adding proper title bar, dragging so it actually feels like a desktop application, and swapping the hamburger icon for something closer to what Claude uses. All right, this looks legit, but here's the problem. If I try to actually chat, nothing. It's all just UI, the backend isn't connected yet. Time to switch over to Cloud Code. Now I need to connect the UI to the actual agent. I've already set up Electron IPC layer to talk with Cloud Agent SDK. That's basically the bridge between my front end and back end in the desktop app. So all that I need Cloud Code to do is wire the chat input to that bridge and respond to the streaming output. I'm gonna try sending hello 
and it responds with exactly what I expected. A clear description of what the agent can do. First problem, if I close the app and reopen it, the conversation is gone. No persistence. My sustensor is only living in the memory right now. This is an easy fix though. For the second problem, this is a little bit more subtle. Watch what happens when I try to continue the conversation after reopening the application. The context is completely wiped out. It has no idea what I'm talking about here. This is a big deal. Imagine if you're working on a project and you're in the middle of a conversation, but you're done for the day, you close the application, you come back the next day, reopen the application, and Claude has no idea what you're talking about. Mm, not exactly the most efficient workflow. It took me a minute to figure out what was happening. Turns out I was generating session IDs manually on my end, but the Claude Agent SDK actually manages its own sessions and has its own session IDs, which it uses to manage and resume conversations. I was basically creating a new chat session every time. Now if I close and reopen and continue, context is preserved, and that is exactly what I wanted. All right, it works, but it doesn't feel quite finished. Right now, when I send a message, I have no idea whether the agent is thinking or processing. I mean, it doesn't, there's no, there's literally no feedback. So I don't know, is the app frozen? Let's fix that. Okay, Combi has this feature where you can hit the resource button. It opens up a browser you can find any element you like within this browser and send it directly as context to Combi. So what I'm going to do because I'm lazy is I'm going to go and find a loading text animation. I like the one from the coconut UI. Oh my gosh, I've never used this library before, but YOLO, am I right? Uh, I'll have Combi recreate it for me in the app. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, this feels right. Okay, let's see if this actually works as a real desktop agent. First, can it even see Reaper? Okay, MCP is connected, that is a good sign. It's pulling back track info, exactly what I expected. Now for the real test, can it actually modify something inside this Reaper session? Let's select the media item and make it way too loud. Oh wow, that's a desktop AI agent. A week ago, I wasn't sure if this was gonna work. Now it's actually working, still nowhere near finish, but a really great start for sure. If you are thinking of building an AI agent that has a UI to enhance and optimize your workflow, the Combi and Cloud Code combination is freaking amazing. Definitely check it out. I have links down below in the description. Combi handles the front end, Cloud Code handles everything else. Now I did mainly use Claude Opus 4.5 when I'm using Claude code, but here's something I've been wondering. Is Claude Opus 4.5 really the best model for agentic coding right now? Because I just finished testing Sonnet 4.5 head to head against Gemini 3 Pro on a bunch of real coding tasks and the results weren't what I expected. Check out this video next if you wanna see how that plays out. Otherwise, if this was useful, you already know what to do. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.